the Nintendo Switch just got updated to version 10.0. Let's talk about it. Okay, so the Nintendo Switch is now at version 10.0, so let's go over what exactly is in this new update. First, just want to say this information is courtesy of Go Nintendo. I'm going to have the link to the article in the description, so please check that out. So let's just get right onto it. First, they added a new bookmark feature to the news section. That feature allows you to bookmark your favorite news items, and a maximum of 300 news items can be bookmarked. An internet connection is required to view bookmarked news items, and news items that are no longer available cannot be viewed even if they were bookmarked. Next, an added option to transfer software data between the system memory and an SD card. Before I continue, I just want to say, finally, finally, now I don't have to spend hours moving gigs of files from my micro SD card to my computer and then over to another micro SD card. Oh man, I'm so glad they added this. Very happy that's there. Next, users can now transfer downloadable software, update data, and downloadable content from the system memory to an SD card and vice versa. Note that save data and some update data cannot be transferred to an SD card. Next, added an option to remap the controller buttons. And you can customize the configurations for the following controllers, the left Joy-Con, the right Joy-Con, the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, also, button configurations can be customized on the Nintendo Switch Lite. On each Nintendo Switch system, you can have five favorite custom configurations saved for your Joy-Con left, five for the Joy-Con right, five for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, as well as five for the Nintendo Switch Lite. They added a new section in user settings for play activity settings, and the options for display play activity 2 and delete play activity have been moved from friend settings to the new play activity settings. We also got some new user profile icons, and there are six new icons from Animal Crossing New Horizons for users to pick from. Also, general system stability and improvements to enhance the user experience. All right, so that is everything for version 10.0 on the Nintendo Switch, guys. So what are you thinking of this update? Are you happy with it? Are you still upset we don't have themes? I'm not upset, but I'm still waiting. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below. That'll be it for me. I will catch you guys later.